Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miroko chan episode number three. Okay, the previous episode, uh, we had uh, a few more little stories, short little stories. Uh, like the, there was this first this uh, perverted go ghost who was kind of clinging into Hana and you know like and then later the teacher and then there was this um really like you know this was like a very intriguing scene where we see like this ghost actually lining up for something where another ghost is actually eating them it's like these are all like mystery filled sections which are very interesting in my opinion and i think this is the main charm of this show the mystery aspect like there are a lot of things which are very unusual and which i think is quite uh, like something that you like, you know there's what can i say like there's a lot of possibilities like why was the were the ghosts lining up just to be eaten by a bigger ghost why and you know these type of mysterious things and since like this whole horror thing like this is ba not basically just like a horror show where like you know you get jump scared nothing like that there are jump scares i guess now and then little, small little jump scares but obviously this is not something like that the atmosphere is bubbly happy comedic but at the same time the thing that really attracts me to this show is the mysterious aspect like since ghost in itself is a thing which no one knows what actually is you know like no one has any proof no one has any like you know like people claim that they've seen ghosts but there's no concrete proof so that's why you know like you can do a lot of things with this and it's quite interesting to see what different people come up with and this is one show that i'm really intrigued about about what more interesting things that they can come up with just like the previous episode and also in the end we get to see another section where there is this cat with like you know ghost kind of attached to it then there's this like you know guy who was looking very scary and then there's like a nice guy but uh miko realized that the nice guy was actually followed by some scary ghosts and the uh, scary guy was actually like you know like a, actually a good person who loved animals you know because of the nekomata sp uh, spirits and uh, yeah and then we see like you know like he loved cats and like his wife is kind of looking up looking uh, like you know like looking over him and also the cats so that was kind of a nice a uh, little heartwarming scene in the end so yeah let's get started let's see what this episode is about so without further ado let's get started this is miruko chan episode number three so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay Let's see what mo what new type of ghosts, uh, what more new type of ghosts we see in this episode. All right, let's see. Let's see what what ghosts. Like maybe there's someone. Oh no. There's only one person. Oh no, there there are quite a few persons. Okay. Just to... Hmm. <laughs> oh, she's... Oh my god, she's actually... Thinking about buying the... Oh! Oh my god, that's creepy! Oh no. Okay, these are normal people, but Oh, maybe the the one in front of her is a ghost. <laughs> what? <laughs> god, oh my god. Like, I was thinking the 
bus driver was a ghost or something you know because they were not showing him but maybe i'm wrong maybe yeah it's something else because we can see that in the like you know in the back seats there are actual people sitting down so it's not just only ghost like the, the only ghost i think is the one who is sitting in front of her <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this opening oh boy here we go Um same words same words Yep there you go Oh Oh my god it's not one it's three or four ghosts Yeah, just ignore. Oh my god. Damn, the, the bus driver also looks kind of ghostly. <laughs> yeah. G great. I wonder why all the ghosts actually latch onto her. Like, there are a lot of people la there, why don't they go to them? Okay, thank God. <laughs> ignore, just ignore. If if <laughs> Oh my god, this girl has some serious um what can I say? Like nerves of steel. <laughs> ah, my God. This is like a few. Oh, wow, this thing is also. <laughs> yeah, she, she isn't getting out now. <laughs> <laughs> this was her stop, wasn't it? Oh, wait. Okay. So this this ghost actually <laughs> This ghost actually impersonates other people that it sees in the bus. I got, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she also got on the wrong train. Okay, now let's see what more ghosts she'll encounter. <laughs> Steve Bucks. I was just saying, why don't the ghosts actually go to the other people? Now we can see. Here we go. Great. Ugh! Damn, the voice acting. It's done really well. Oh, great. Oh! 
Oh no, it's a Yandere ghost. Run. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god, this guy's this guy's thinking that yeah. Oh my god, oh Where is Hana? She oh she she missed the uh, train. Yeah, I remembered. Don't look. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yukun is like the most uh m what can I say? Uh. There you go. She's like, okay, well, maybe I was wrong. Um. Okay. <laughs> The complete opposite of him. There you go. Damn, she... She was in Super Saiyan state up until now. <laughs> Here we're all flying up. <laughs> Damn. Miko was able to trick a ghost. A new achievement unlocked. <laughs> ah, there she is. Thank God. <laughs> Yeah, let's get out of here. Um, why the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, she even got the wrong bus. Wait, she had a, someone... Oh, Lord. Oh! <laughs> wow, this girl is even a higher level than him. <laughs> Wait, so what are the ghosts actually? Are they like... There are people who liked her? Like, that doesn't make sense. How can so many people... Oh, I, I'm guessing it's just that the aura that she gives out. Those girls that... Okay, maybe. Okay, there she got her... <laughs> beads. Donkey. A weird looking rabbit. Why the hell uh, the ears? The ears are moving very unnaturally. I don't like that. It's a new trend. It better be. <laughs> Oh yeah, she had that problem. So, yeah, it could have been a better... Oh, there you go, nice. <laughs> it's Hana's defense. <laughs> holy... Holy resistance. No, uh, dark resistance plus 10. But... The hell? 
Okay. Interesting. Stop, no. Why? What is this cliche? Oh, great. It's wonderful. This is a wonderful path. Oh, 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 it's working. Nice. Okay, thank God. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Strawberry butt buns. <laughs> but still, it's unnerving, you know? Like, all these ghosts surrounding you. Oh, well, hello there. What the? This looks like some kind of a video game. Last boss or something. Like, oh my god, this, this ghost looks like some kind of Resident Evil ghost. Like, you know, one of those last boss that you need to fight or something? <laughs> yeah, it, it won't work anymore. Oh my god, it, every, everyone will come running to her now. Okay, but Hana is here. She can help. She still has the... Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nah, it's it's not their fault. Yeah. What? No! Oh my god! No, no, no! Sh the ghost will realize, oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't think it will realize. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a shock. No, no more that. Oh, great. Let's... Ah, uh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> what type of... The prayer beads? No, the prayer beads. <laughs> she ate both of it at the same time. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> The fortune, fortune is an exhaust and the godmother. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe this, this lady can help. Damn, it's expensive. Oh. Damn, this lady. Oh no, wait, what? Oh, great. Oh, everything's a trick. Dear mom. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, okay.
Hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah. It'll be expensive as well. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> okay. What? What? <laughs> That's not the elastic. Oh no! There's a thing hovering around her. Oh, she can see. Okay. But a little bit. Not as clear. Oh my god, this thing is following them. Great. Nah, it's just itchy. Poor thing. <laughs> Damn, this lady. Powerful aura. Wait, what? Powerful aura. <laughs> oh, wait, because. What? Oh, that's why it's following them. Oh, okay. So it. So Hana is attracting them, but it won't work on her. Mieruko chan, there you go. Damn, she's bringing out the big guns. <laughs> this is something that my great 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 <laughs> ancestors. Ooh, look at that, some legendary S rank artifact. Wow, it's glowing. It's pretty apparent, it's glowing, so... Damn, this, this lady is nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, it's glowing. Uh... And there's also something like stuff written, inscriptions written on it. Okay. <laughs> she turned a new leaf. Whoa. Oh, great. What? Okay. Damn, that was a high level ghost, that means. Okay, is it still following them? No, it's not. Nice. Oh, great. It's back to its... Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay, one thing that was... I need to check that portion again. They said something about like Hana because Hana has uh, greater aura, aura. Yeah. 
That's why she attracts the ghosts, but the ghosts will not do anything to them, to her, because of her aura. Like, you know, her immense aura. I don't know. I I'll have to check that portion again. But I guess it's just that Hana being with her probably kind of attracts a little bit more ghosts. Miko, when she's by herself as well, also attracts ghosts. So it's basically kind of the same i guess but if hana is with her it, it's a bit more i think so it's probably something like that damn i realized this actually this this <laughs> this ending song is actually sung by the ghosts <laughs> wait there's still something left oh closed Miss sweater oh damn she she <laughs> <laughs> she realized that this is not for her. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, so... <clears throat> so basically the opening is like um, Miko telling the ghosts not to haunt her. And the ending is the ghosts telling that if you can see me just... <laughs> just, you know, like turn around or something like that. Wow, funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like the way they did it the opening and the ending all right uh this episode um like in the matter of a few min minutes a few hours i guess miko met three go three one uh, three or two ghosts just a second oh god no three ghosts i mean like not three ghosts there were multiple ghosts as well but main three ghosts like in in this matter of a few hours like just wow this girl like the amount of stuff that she has to go through every day like imagining it kind of <laughs> is so like scary in a way okay um so the first ghost that we encounter here is on the bus now the ghost here the three or four headed ghost it's it was kind of like uh I guess it was like an impersonating ghost ghost or something it it basically impersonated the different people like you know like that went in the bus because we kind of saw like you know that girl kind of talking like that you know like that distinct way of talking that uh you know um like uh you know like maji ukeru that kind of way like the way actually garus talk and uh, <clears throat> so the the way it was talking the ghost it was basically impersonating them and i'm guessing this is not the first time it actually like you know like i'm guessing it actually goes on the bus bus boards the bus every day sits down and kind of goes like and it it sees and observes different people the way they talk and everything and because this time is like you know like a lot of students and a lot of like you know like uh, young people also commute at this time uh it it kind of picked up that way of talking it's kind of like a parrot in a way i guess <laughs> so uh it, it it impersonates that as well uh the way it talks and it's kind of weird to think about how like you know these ghosts also have like a, uh what can i say a daily schedule i guess like you know the way they operate like this thing uh, i'm guessing this is not the first time that this ghost is actually commuting on the bus so i'm guessing like every day probably during the same time it, it's it, it probably waits for the bus to come when the bus comes it gets up <laughs> sits down kind of observes and listens to people and repeats that and then in in that like you know stop it kind of goes like you know comes out of the bus and leaves and it repeats this thing each and every day and <laughs> yeah it basically no one obviously no one realizes that because no one can see the ghost but this time it was a little bit different because miko can see the ghost and she cannot let the ghost know that she can see them otherwise i don't know what the hell would happen if somehow the ghosts actually realize that miko can see them 
my god okay um so yeah okay one thing that was a little bit i think a little bit risky in a way was that the thing that miko did here she actually pressed the stop button for the bus to come like you know like at a stop in the stop, stop that she was supposed to get off on she pressed the button the ghost observed that and then when the time came she did not get down the ghost itself kind of came down and i don't know if that was intentional or what but it was actually standing and looking at her i'm guessing it was actually waiting for miko miko to come down because you know like because she pressed the stop so she should have come down but she didn't miko did not come down so in a way I can, i'm saying that this is a little bit risky because at that moment the ghost could have realized that maybe this girl can see me like obviously i have no idea what goes around in a ghost's brain so <laughs> i won't be able to say like if the ghosts are that intelligent or not but if if, if there is a go intelligent ghost i think that could probably be able to figure everything out here you know yeah, like it would be able to figure out that oh like she was supposed to get down here but since i get got out here she did not come down that means means she must be able to see me so <laughs> as i said i have no idea what goes through a ghost's brain so unfortunately i can't say <laughs> but still it was funny oh my god like you know it's, it's kind of <laughs> went down and was standing <laughs> looking at her expecting miko to come down but unfortunately she did not so yeah and here i was actually saying that it's actually weird in a way to see the ghosts actually mess with her like why like they were all different other people as well in the in the bus why didn't the ghost go to them because miko is very you know like tries very much to actually act nonchalant i'm guessing like even though she acts nonchalant there's still something in her like you know demeanor or facial expressions that probably makes the ghost a little bit suspicious and that's why all of them instead of going to other people who really can't see them the ghosts actually focus on miko because they probably you know like see some facial expression change or something because it's not that she is completely poker faced she actually like you know, sometimes sweats and everything when the ghost comes in front of her face completely and there are little bits and pieces of change in expression so yeah but it's still like you know it's kind of really impressive to see how she is able to keep that face <laughs> even when the ghosts are on top of her okay that was that and then the next scene we see the yandere ghost <laughs> you know uh, which is kind of stuck to the guy the the cool guy the popular guy and <laughs> it actually <laughs> thinks that miko is looking at the guy and, but obviously miko was looking at the ghost and now here's one thing uh, the the whole thing of that scene where we see in the end the girl also comes in and the girl has like multiple ghosts like you know like you know male ghosts following her just kind of just like the guy as well and miko said like birds of a feather um now here's the thing uh, at the beginning i thought that the ghost which like you know like the female ghost was like a ghost or someone who probably i don't know was somehow involved with the guy when she was alive and then she died or something and that's why it's kind of haunting him at the beginning i thought it was something like that but then uh, the next like you know scene where we see the, the girl was being followed by multiple male ghosts i was like wait maybe it's a little bit different like obviously like so many ghosts that are actually following the girl I, I doubt they were all alive you know and like you know they were somehow involved with the girl i doubt that so it probably means that uh i'm guessing like you know the the guy and the girl both give out this type of a i don't know like this type of a bad aura you know like uh what can i say like yeah bad aura like that's just how i can explain it which probably attracts these type of ghosts to them 
and like you know like ghosts which are obsessed with them because of the the aura i guess so that's why like you know miko in the end said that birds of the of, of a feather because i guess like you know the punchline like you know the, the whole scene was that both the boy and the girl were actually cheating on each other i think so that's how it felt like you know the way the, the thing that it actually tried to imply i might be wrong though that's why i think that 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 was probably why all the ghosts were like you know like attracted to, to the, them because of their aura that they were giving out or something <clears throat> i'm not sure but i guess it's something like that so yeah who knows so yeah in a way they're perfect for each other i guess both of them <laughs> both the guy and the girl <laughs> and uh, all right that was that and then in the next scene we see <clears throat> miko and hana buy some prayer beads which were i'm guessing cheap version of prayer beads and hana here decides to go to a dark alleyway like what why but you know anime characters they always make these type of decisions so i don't blame them <laughs> and always there's like in an anime like there will be an alleyway where all the characters will go in and they'll like you know get into some mess Hana, Hana, uh, Bingo did not want to go through that alleyway, but Hana here was like, "Oh, shortcut, let's go." <laughs> oh my god! And I, I guess Miko can't also like you know, uh, just oppose it too much because the ghost will get like you know suspicious of it. They'll realize that oh, maybe this human can actually see us. That's why it's like you know opposing so much. So yeah. Anyways, that was that, and then. <clears throat> they get in the ghosts are there the, it was actually working the prayer beats the ghosts were going away but in comes the big boss you know i don't know what the hell that thing was it's like a huge guy with some chains and stuff and like you know saying that it's itchy and i like you know i really think this this ghost is some kind of resident evil ghost you know like uh, um i <laughs> i think i remember like you know in, in, I, I don't know which part it was you know, and, and the game, I'm talking about the game uh, in Resident Evil in one of the parts I feel like I've seen this type of a ghost like you know like we had to kill them like some kind of it was some kind of a boss battle or some kind of a like you know ghost character which we had to kill so I feel like this is like some kind of a Resident Evil boss or something <laughs> this 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 thing uh, it really looked like something like that like it it it, it, it fits perfectly in a Resident Evil game but <laughs> anyways um this thing yeah it was a bit too of much of a high level and the prayer beads just goes flying everywhere i don't know <laughs> how much strong this thing was actually but it was able to completely destroy the prayer beads without even touching it so just with its aura i guess so yeah and interest one interesting thing here is that hana's prayer beads actually did not get affected i don't know why most probably because she was not close to the ghost but the thing that we'll see later on maybe that also was kind of a reason you know like as the lady said old lady said that hana has a high aura or something so maybe it kind of protected the prayer beads or something i don't know or maybe it was just because she did not get close to the ghost that's why but anyways um yeah so <laughs> as usual hana doesn't realize what's happening she starts her clumsy stuff like, you know the the rabbit falls down and everything and miko has to go through so much horrifying situations like you know like she <laughs> the, like go through the ghost and like you know like like all that stuff like her face was inside the ghost for this moment there as well and damn like that's nasty stuff you know like if you if you can see this type of a monster in front of you even if it's a ghost you know like actually going through it it's kind of weird nasty and scary at the same time so again as i said like i guess the best like you know the character to have the best uh uh you know like to have nerves of steel award goes to miko this year <laughs> like just imagine like running into ghosts each and every moment of your life and you cannot you know like show your facial expression you know you can't even scream you have to just hold everything in and 
damn that's kind of depressing in a way you know now that i think about it like imagine like a situation like that that like yeah like you can't say anything you can't tell anything to anyone it's just that you're, you're seeing ghosts each and every time like every moment of your life and you just have to hold it in wow like i like i think we, <laughs> this girl like this girl really has some nerves of steel like i don't know how someone can even survive in in, in that situation continuously each and every moment of their life god <sighs> anyways um <clears throat> Okay, that was that, and then we get to the old lady, uh, who, who I think has a little bit of uh, power to see the ghosts, not as clearly as Miko, but she can kind of, I guess, like you know, figure out the aura that yeah, there is something there. I don't know what that is, but I know there is something. So you know, she like, it's like you know at the beginning we it seemed like she was like you know she was actually like you know like uh, tricking people, but at the same time you know like in the end when we see like you know that she realizes that these girls are really genuinely in trouble she decided like yeah like i sh like you know I, I should definitely help them that's that was nice of her because uh the other lady that she actually tricked that that girl was i'm uh, just asking for i'm guessing relationship advice or something you know and that's why she tricked them by actually like you know letting other people like you know like some hired people i guess <laughs> she hired some people to go hit on her so yeah that's why she was happy and everything so that was something different but here she, when she realizes that these girls are genuinely in trouble uh you know like in problem she, she it was nice of her to actually like you know bring out her powerful stuff and not trick them uh unfortunately it did not work by the end of it but still it's it's the uh you know like it, it's the effort that counts she actually she actually tried to help them and uh yeah okay now here's the thing now i need to check this portion out uh <clears throat> she looks at hana and says that what a powerful aura is quite incredible <clears throat> okay um just a second All right. Um, she doesn't seem. She doesn't see them, but she must attract all sorts of horrors. There you go. So she she's actually attracting the ghosts. But obviously, but she doesn't realize that. Um, okay. With that aura, no matter what comes for her, she won't be affected at all so it's actually like a weird thing that means like hana has immense aura which actually attracts the ghosts to them to her but at the same time because of that aura the ghost won't be able to do anything like like it's actually attracting the ghost but at the same time it's actually protecting her from the ghost as well that means it's weird in a way isn't it so yeah but still like you know like Okay, so it's attracting and so I'm guessing that's why the, the big ghost was actually following um, Miko. You know, it followed them from that alleyway. And I also think that's also the, probably the reason why uh, Hana meets more ghosts when... Uh, no, not Hana. Miko meets more ghosts when Hana is with her. So, yeah, okay. And obviously, like, Miko doesn't know that... Uh, Hana has immense aura and she doesn't even know that the ghost won't be able to harm her so you know she's so scared of, of her and scared of her none I'm, I'm i'm trying to say that she's so scared uh, like you know that something will happen to her because if the ghosts actually come in contact with her or something that's why she's trying to protect Hana. So, like you know in, in the previous episode as well and i think even if she knew that the ghosts can't do anything to Hana. She still would try to protect her because you know like she can see everything and like you know hana is a good friend even if she was not her good friend still as a person i guess like you know uh, miko is that type of a person who would actually try to help someone when he she sees that they're in need and because miko can see the ghost herself you know i think she, yeah that's why she 
actually tries to protect everyone because she can see it so yeah if, if she actually turns a blind eye to it it'll be kind of bad in a way i'm guessing it'll uh you know like she herself will feel bad about it as a human being so yeah that's it so in a way like you know like as i said like it's actually impressive to see that even though she's so scared of the ghost herself she's actually protecting trying to protect hana and yeah nerves of steel as i said so <laughs> yeah that was that okay and then the the lady gives them the like powerful beats but those beats also don't work i don't know what the hell happened at that moment the ghost started going crazy and the beats just flew off <laughs> and Han, like you know Nico's like you know what enough is enough no more beats I, I have to just like you know like live with this <laughs> and like the, the ending scene was kind of funny where we see the lady actually goes back to her child <laughs> no? and she's like yeah like I, I like you know I need to take a break for <laughs> And she has written that, yeah, like, it's closed. The shop is closed. My god. And she, she's like, I've turned a new leaf. <laughs> wow. That was nice. Okay. That was another great episode. This was Miyaruko-chan episode number three. And we also had the title, like, you know, drop here. Like, uh, the lady said, Miyaruko-chan. The one who can see. Mieru. Someone who can see. And Ko means girl so miruko chan i guess <laughs> so yeah so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to miruko chan episode number three so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miruko chan so until then goodbye and have a nice day